tragedy in Aurora, Colorado. We do continue to keep the people who were affected by that tragedy in our prayers. But we thank God that God is not dead. God is alive. God did not cause this evil thing, but God loves us enough to give us free will. And sometimes we choose evil. But in the midst of that evil, God is triumphant. In the midst of that, please read those stories of people sacrificing, sacrificing their own lives, of people diving on top of other people to sacrifice their own lives to save others. Please see God active and alive in those first responders to expect, but that they would help save others. Our God is alive and well. And we do this. If you find yourself saying, if we find our church saying, you find your committee saying, we got to. We got to do this. We got to do this. We just got to do this. We got to do that. Those are words of slaves. Those are slave returns. However, Jesus presents us with a whole new understanding of God. The key word for that is Sabbath. And when we, have, when we experience that, not just on one day a week, but in the rhythm of our life, we start to transform from we got to, we got to, we got to, we must, and then starting pointing people to you must, you must, you must. And I'm sure people on the outside are like, well, we're not signing for that. <laughs> I, I just might need to be beat up by somebody else. No. The question when we become more in rhythm with God goes away from we just got to, to God, what do you want? Friends, let me ask you. How often have you asked that question when you make a decision about any part of your day? When you're saying your prayers about what's coming up, have you asked that question of God? God, what do you want here? What do you want out of this situation? What do you want out of my life? Does your committee, does your council, does any part of the church, do we ask, God, what is your desire? Now, some friends of mine had read a wonderful, wonderful book, and they shared it with me. And this good old Marine who also wrote the book, The Legend of Bagger Vance, good Christian guy, he said in the book, he said, you know, if you want to make your life more effective, make two lists. On one side, put all of the urgent things in your life. All of the urgent things, the things that are pressing on you right now. And on the other side, make a list of the important things in life. He said, do the important things first. Make a list of the urgent and the important, and do the important things first. And I'll close with this. A friend of mine, I don't think it was a coincidence, sent me this list the other day. And I think this is so true. When we start to experience that time where we are filled intentionally, I don't think all of our problems go away. I'm not a fool. But there are symptoms of, of what happens in our lives. These are 12 of those symptoms. Number one, an increased tendency to let things happen rather than a focus on making things happen. Number two, frequent attacks of smiling. Number three, feelings of being connected with others in nature. Number four, frequent overwhelming episodes of appreciation. Number five, a tendency to think and act spontaneously rather than from fears based on past experience. Number six, an unmistakable ability to enjoy each moment. Number seven, a loss of ability to worry about everything. Number eight, a loss of interest in conflict. Number nine, here's a good one, a loss of interest in interpreting the actions of others. Number 10, a loss of interest in judging others. Number 11, a loss of interest in judging yourself. And finally, number 12, gaining the ability to love without expecting anything in return. Will you pray with me? God, we are your people. We know that because you've spoken this into our lives. But sometimes we forget. Call us again as your people to come away with you, to listen, to not be filled with other desires and other things primarily. God, we know the emptiness in our hearts. It's a hungering for you. Help us not fill it with more stuff, whether it be family stuff or work deadlines or even more religious garbage. Help us to intentionally turn back to you. And the people of God said together,